Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's. I know it's not new New Year's right now, but this is the first video that I'm filming in 2022. My hair is chopped off, so it's probably a shock to you guys if you don't follow me on Instagram. And if you don't, what are you doing? Please follow me there. I'm way more active there, I promise. I have a toddler. It is mom life. Her naps are getting shorter and less, so the time to do this is getting shorter and less. But I've been meaning to film a video all about the bags that I purchased in 2021 and I finally got to it. I'm going to share with you guys the luxury bags and also to the bags that are a more affordable price point. I think it's important that you guys know that I love both. It doesn't matter. I do not discriminate on a bag. If I like it, I like it. Whatever the price point is, doesn't mean I'm gonna buy it if it's some crazy price point, but if I like it, I like it, I can't help it. And also to buying more affordable bags during Cleo's toddler years with sticky fingers, it's just a little bit easier to carry carefree around her at the moment. So I'm gonna get into those. Let's just jump right in. This is my main handbag. I use it pretty much five days out of the week unless I change out into a bag for an outfit on Instagram or for a date night or for a specific you know, moment. Everything always goes right back into this bag. And it is my Louis Vuitton bum bag. Looks cute with what I'm wearing right now, which by the way, I got this from Urban Outfitters. Matt bought this for me for my birthday. One of my gifts. Love it. This bag is just cool without trying. You put it on with anything and it looks good. It looks cute with something like this and it looks cute with literally a bum outfit. I could be wearing complete athleisure wear and my Uggs and throw this on and it's just cool. And I love it. So carefree. If you're still interested in the Louis Vuitton bum bag, I definitely still recommend it. If it's something that suits your personal style, I love it. I do think this whole hype has calmed down, but in a good way. It's it's good. I'm happy I'm not seeing it as often. I think people that are still wearing it and still really love it, it is for the actual use and function of the bag. And that's what it should be all about, people. Don't let the hype, don't get pulled into the hype of something. It has to suit you and it has to be something that you'll wear often. It doesn't matter the price point. Even if it's like a $10 bag, you don't wanna just buy to buy. You know, you wanna be able to envision yourself wearing this in five different ways, five different scenarios, at least five different outfits. That's usually a rule of thumb that I have. This bag is killer, love it. So one luxury bag that I got, I'm not going in any particular order, just so you guys know. And also too, I'm gonna to share with you guys first the luxury bags, then the more affordable bags. This bag was definitely a holy grail bag of mine and it is the Balenciaga City Mini, but it's this color in particular. And this is, I think it's called Beige Latte. They've done so many beiges. Some are pink, some are yellow, some are more gray. This is definitely more of a grayish, where it's a gray beige and it's like a taupey. This jacket you can sort of see in comparison. This is like a light cream and you can kind of tell. And then I have some brown on. The color of this just is stunning. And I've learned over the years, this is my favorite size from the classic moto city bags i love their new city bags that they're out that they have out now that have like more of like an ink i think they're called neo they're more angular love them but this is more classic for me and more timeless for me i love the gold hardware in combination of this color it was very very difficult to find this bag at a not crazy price point even though that sounds crazy because i know usually the balenciaga cities go for really good price points like a fraction of the retail price for some reason this colorway and the metallic edges it, they just weren't as inexpensive as the other ones. I'm not saying I paid retail for it. It was definitely way less in retail, but nowhere near like the $600, $700 price point that you see city bags going for nowadays, which now I think they're actually going a little bit more. I think Balenciaga bags are kind of having a moment. So that also makes the handbag market fluctuate. So anytime there's like a moment with certain brands and bags, pay attention to the price points. I know there's inflation going on everywhere across the board right now, but in handbags, it it just works like that too. And especially in the pre-loved market, you just have to be careful and you have to know when to buy and when to sell. So I had to do a video on that. Maybe this is one of my favorite bags. Such a good color for all year too. This is actually not a luxury price point bag but it is a designer bag and it's my Telfar small shopping tote I think that's what it's called if I could own this bag in every color and every size that it comes in I would I absolutely love it it's a vegan bag I love the whole story behind the designer he thinks that designer bags should be obtainable to everyone and I completely agree so I love that sort of 
concept behind it, but unfortunately the pre-love market takes advantage of these bags because they sell in minutes. The moment that I knew that the cream bag was going to be restocked, I set my alarm for like 5 30 in the morning i think it went on sale at like 6 a.m I, I could be wrong it could have been at 7 i don't know but on the west coast it was it's something early in the morning i actually had to watch videos on how to buy this but i did i was able to get it the first try so i'm very grateful for that yeah i want them in every color especially this size this is like perfect for you know everything that i personally need on me it goes with everything and it just goes with every i thought this was just gonna be like a spring summer bag but it goes with all seasons goes with all of my outfits it's pretty crazy so i love it i mean it's not that crazy it's a neutral but some creams are weird so i really really love this bag highly highly recommend any telfar bag i don't have all the sizes but i can just imagine easy the medium and the large bags are in life especially with travel or if you want to use it as a diaper bag or it's like a cooler version of like a neverfull or a goyard right now i feel like that's just my opinion, way more affordable. And next is a bag that just keeps on giving. It is the one bag that I didn't wanna buy, but I knew I was going to end up using a ton, and it's my Saint Laurent Toy Lulu. Now, I have always appreciated this bag from afar, even the next size up, the small, because it has the four grommets with the, you know, the chain that you can move in and out from shoulder to crossbody. But when I was lacking the little mini bag, black with gold hardware because I have a rectangular mini in black with silver hardware. I have a Chanel small flap with silver hardware and I had just sold or got rid of my Chanel top handle with the gold age gold hardware because the quality was not Chanel price point. Let's just put it that way. Not luxury price point at all and I no longer had my Gucci Marmont with the gold and I was just sort of over the Marmont and I didn't regret selling the Marmont mini because I still wanted it in beige but now I'm sort of glad I haven't jumped back into getting one because I'm I'm kind of I hate to say it I'm kind of over it there's just other bags that I want more but anyways so I was like what's a good good price point that I could just throw around that sounds awful but it's the reality of it this is a very affordable luxury smaller mini bag and I thought of this bag and I really wanted to get it in red. I really wanted to get it in beige. I was super close to getting it in either color. And then I was like, no, the smartest choice is black because that's what I was lacking. And it has been so amazing. Obviously, the fact that you can remove the chain, this is not the chain it comes with. This is from Etsy. I'll link it for you guys. It comes with a thinner black leather strap. I've also purchased a shorter leather top handle. I've worn it with a cloth wider like band strap. It's just so cool that you can completely change the vibe of this bag with the strap. So I highly recommend it. The quality is amazing. You can fit so much in, in here. I have some receipts. It's just one of, it is actually one of my most used luxury bags from last year besides my bum bag. This is just so good. And now that it's colder, it's the colder months, I've been using this a ton. So highly recommend it. Even with all the price increases that this bag has had, I think originally it was like 990, 995, and I think it's upwards of like 1300 right now, maybe more last time I checked. But I scored this on Fashion File well below retail, but over definitely over its original price but i love 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 it and i i can go on and on and on about this bag one of the hardest bags to get besides the next one after this is the speedy nano i could kick myself because i was actually offered this in the boutique that i got my bum bag from a week after i bought my bum bag and i told my essay no i'm gonna hold off i want to give my bum bag a second like i've only had it for a week like let me enjoy it for a little bit it was between these two bags when i wanted to initially purchase one of them when i was buying them if that makes sense like i wanted both i knew i wanted both but i didn't want to do two at once again i'm a full-blown mom stay at home right now i am going to be going back to work soon but not in the fashion industry i am going to be working at our family business and it's no place for a designer bag so when i was working in beverly hills every single day you're thrown into kind of like obviously an ambiance where everything's designer everything's about fashion i worked right next door to rodeo i was constantly loving putting together outfits and switching out my bags i no longer do that it's not that i don't have the opportunity i could do it all day long if i wanted to if i wanted to go to the grocery store in you know 
high-end looks I could and sometimes I do when I'm in the mood. I just feel like it's just so unnecessary <laughs> to be buying designer bags as much as I was in the past. I don't mean to go off into a different story but now that I look back on it I kind of wish I jumped on getting it from the boutique because this is from Fashion File. I did end up I feel like I manifested this because after I told my essay no, I immediately regretted it. Like a week later, of course, I messaged. I'm like, do you still have it? He's like, no, no, girl. Like that is long gone. And I was like, oh gosh, okay, well, I'll look for it on the pre-love market. But the only way I'll get it is if it's in great condition. And hopefully from the year that I love the canvas, which was 2016, 2017, from when my Palm Springs backpack, not necessarily the same canvas, but during that time period the canvas was just so yummy um and i also wanted to get it below retail and you're probably thinking yeah right well guess what i got it below retail it was i mean not very much under i think it was like ten dollars below retail at the time now they've had multiple price increases since i've gotten this bag and now i think they're coming out with the nano again with a removable strap i am going to say this and this is definitely an opinion that a lot of people are probably gonna be like no i don't agree with that I don't think this bag proportionately um, will look good with clasps. I think it'll just be too much hardware. It's little. I like the simplicity and the clean lines of the strap that this comes with. That's just my opinion. And there's no other strap on this bag I'd rather wear with it. And I know they also came out with the Speedy 20. Too big. It's too big for me. I still really love the look of this. I also am not a Speedy girl but it is my first designer bag, so it holds some sort of special place. And anything miniature of a classic, I just am instantly drawn to. I, I just think it's like the cutest thing in the world. I think a lot of people can agree with that. So bigger speedies are just, it's just not me. Maybe one day down the road it will be, but I just, I have no desire to get a larger speedy. And the Nano for me just is so perfect. It does the perfect amount of fashion for an outfit and I love it. And it fits my phone. I have an 11 Pro Mac. I don't know where it is right now, but it fits in here perfectly fine. I still, I have, I always keep so much junk in here. I have my Chanel Essays card in here. I, I literally could wear this bag nonstop. It's very difficult to change out of this, the bum bag and my, YSL Toy Lulu. Very, very hard to change out of them. Love, love, love. I can go on and on about this bag. Definitely worth it if you are still on the hunt for it. This next bag, we can all agree, is definitely a holy grail for a lot of people. Very difficult to find. I still cannot believe I have it in my possession. and I'm actually shocked by how much I've used it because now it's it's gotten to the point where I'm a little scared wearing this bag just because of the price point that these bags are going for. And it's absurd. But it's the Chanel Small Flap. I have it in the black caviar and silver hardware. Listen, if there's a bag that when I look at it and I literally get a pit in my stomach and butterflies and it's like looking at, I don't, I don't even know. Like it just gives me butterflies. It, this is, this is it, okay? It makes me so happy. Um, and I think I've worn it so much because the color combination of it being silver, it just makes it so easy. It's very cool. It's edgy. Yes, but this bag with gold hardware is so serious. That's a serious bag. It's a, it's a serious bag. And I've come to the terms that if I have a black Chanel bag, I just, with gold hardware, I just really, my heart is with vintage it just is. They use real gold to coat the hardware back in the day and to me it just screams vintage. So that bright yellow gold on a black Chanel bag is just vintage. I mean it doesn't even have to be black, just gold from Chanel. I just, I'd prefer it to be vintage, you know what I mean? But then this look of a bag, this classic small flap, I like the newer version so just made sense to get the silver and the black caviar and I just I'm shook okay shook by this bag I do have the one with the black interior which is great because it is very easy to keep clean and I have a handbag insert I will um link it for you guys I got this off of 
Amazon? No, Etsy, I think. I'm gonna link it for you guys. But I love it. I keep this baby stuffed and every time I use it, it's just, it just makes me so happy. I love it. Okay, moving away from the designer price point bags, let's move on to a couple bags that are inspired by Kelly Minis and it's these two babies. These are from Lily and Bean. I actually purchased this one off of Poshmark and did not know that it was from Lily and Bean until the dust bag that it came in. And one of my beautiful subbies ended up ordering from Lily and Bean to confirm that these bags were actually from Lily and Bean because it came with this strap but on their website it only shows these bags with wider band straps so she had purchased I think it was a pink one and she ended up getting both straps so she had confirmed that it is from Lillian Bean that was my indication to be like okay I really 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 want it in black I wear this bag so much you guys so so much I love it it's such a phenomenal like it's not a replica because obviously it doesn't say Hermes anywhere on it, but it's such a good dupe. They did such a good job on this bag. It's more narrow than the brown one for some reason. I don't know why. And this one feels lighter. Who knows? I don't know. The price point is worth it though. I do like that I can remove the strap and put a chain on it if I wanted to. Love my little Kelly dupe bags. I wear them all the time. And then three little affordable bags. Well, let me just go into the one really quickly that I thrifted that I can't get over. It's this little black leather nine West studded shoulder bag. I'm not going to go too much into this because this was thrifted. It's nothing I can link. And I just love it. I love the style. I think it's just cool. And then this bag, hopefully they have it still. I'm not quite sure. This is that yummy Bottega green that I would love to have a Bottega bag, but I just cannot pull the trigger on their bags. I don't know what it is. I'm not saying the quality isn't amazing. I'm sure it's amazing. I just don't know what it is. I just don't think I would like the style long enough. Um, my camera's gonna die. I have to hurry up. I really love it though. It's from Miss Lola. Super inexpensive vegan leather bag. And last but not least is my black and leather mango bag shoulder bag. I get so many compliments on this simple bag all the time it was on sale recently hopefully they still have it and i can link it for you guys but this was supposed to be like my version between the row and like a prada sort of simple no logo bag i love the look of no logos at the moment believe it or not so yeah that is it. Those are my bags that I purchased in 2021. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mwah.